Hey guys, it's Jenny. I'm doing a quick um, box packing video and I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I keep forgetting things and I finally think I have everything together <laughs> and having to restart the video a hundred times over. So anyway, I'm gonna, head, gonna go ahead and get started so I can get back to other things that need to be done. So into the box we'll do the please start your box opening video. I'm gonna go just at the bottom of the box like that. Um, I'm going to be packing the kit into several bags so the pieces aren't rubbing against each other. As some of you know, I'm kind of particular about making sure that bits and pieces do not rub. I just, I think it's, it is necessary for them not to rub against each other, especially when they have a um, sealer over them. I don't know if you can see that or not. When they do have a sealer. Um, you can have that rub effect, and I don't really want that. I don't know that you can see that very well. I hope so. Anyway, that's her, her little leg. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that bag. Now I'm leaving. Um, I'm leaving her eyes and her head even though she is being sold as a payment cut. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because she has fangs. She is a vampire. And if you take the eyes in and out, in and out, in and out, and you're moving them around a bunch as you're trying to glow them or put new ones in, you can break the fangs off. So what I'm going to do is leave the fangs in. This way, when she gets home, her mama can... Um, just kind of go ahead on the outside and adjust the eye to where she wants it, like so. Hold it in place from the front and glue it in from the back. Um, or potentially not glue them in. It's kind of up to her what she wants to do when the time comes because she does have sculpted fangs and like I said, with the wrong amount of movement, they can pop off or break. And that is something we don't want to happen. So here's her arms. There you go. I'm sorry, my nail polish is... It's begun to die on me. It's <laughs> dying nail polish. It's so sad. It's so sad. So I'm just getting all the limbs ready to go. And she was purchased on a nice holiday special as a peanut kit versus a finished doll. Um, but like I said, she is going home with the eyes. And she's also going home with a body. Which made this an extra good deal. I'm so glad somebody hopped on it. It makes me happy to see that she's going home somewhere that she'll really be enjoy. And, oh, there's this box. There you go. You can see. Face, hair, my cashier. She's a pretty little baby. She is. She doesn't really need much work done. She just kind of needs to be glued together. And again, um, as you'll see in my note, the has fires going in or anything. Again, is gonna have to be done very cautiously because. Um, you can't really see in there very well, but, um, the fangs are, are sculpted and they will absolutely, without a doubt, break if not handled correctly. Um, so her head's gonna go in that bag. There's a letter I'm sending home. Let's see if you can read that. It says, hold on, focus. You have ordered the vampire altered peanut kit. That's the fangs. Please take extra care when applying positioning and gluing eyes or magnets into the head. Please take extra care if rooting hair. Please take care when assembling the head to the body and stuffing or weighting the head. All of these things can lead to broken fangs, so please use caution. Thanks. Me. That's me. Anyway, so, I mean, it's a very clip it note. It's, it's not you know, meant to deter from putting her together, obviously. I put them together like this, and I don't have issues, but 
it is just meant to, you know, remind her to please, please be careful when doing it this way. We don't end up with little broken fangs. Because that's no fun at all. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pop her head in this bag. Like a suit. that which protects the fangs because I'm gonna put a diaper or something that can go kind of down bottom there to keep the protect up. I'm gonna put our arms down the bottom here. Like so. I'm gonna take one leg and put it right here. I think it's this is like nope it's the other leg. This is to hold our head in place. A diaper, as you can see where she's at now, everything position. I'm gonna add a diaper around the base of the face so that those fangs and eyes are protected. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in her last foot, which does fit. I just have to remember how the heck I did it because <laughs> I cannot write the second. Hold on, let me see. There it was. Okay, it is in. It is in correctly. Finally, we're going to go ahead and pop that body in there, just like so. Um, like that. So pretty much everything else that's going in the box is a scent wafer. The scent wafer is in a little plastic bag in this bag. There we go. Um, it's in a little plastic bag in this one because I don't want it touching anything, along with her tag, which I didn't want to attach directly to the skin. I usually like to put it a little outfit or something, or around the outfit, and her charm go in there also, and her certificate from the nursery, which is signed by me but left blank for her to fill in because I don't know any of those things currently, care instructions, there you go. And kind of see what's going on there. We're taking care of her baby. There's our the note that I have just written and wrote, written and wrote that I just put in there. A few business cards, as you can see. And okay. finally, the please start your box opening video, so that if she is unhappy for some reason. And of course, the butterfly on top. If she is unhappy for some reason, hopefully I almost forgot this, she can return the baby. Just has to be recorded. This is the COA for Freda. And we're going to put that in the box as well. Because it goes along with the kit. I'll just put that right there. So it's all in there nice and neat. Everything fits well. Perfect. No bumps or humps or anything. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape down. I'm gonna go ahead and tape down. And that'll be about it. And of course, I will over tape this box to an outrageous amount because that's what I do. I like to overtake my boxes. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but I don't want anything going on. I've had some pretty beat up boxes come to me, so I try to make sure that there is no chance of a box popping open anywhere and having an issue. Sorry about the noise. Um, so that's how that's going to go. 
just like that. Just like so. Yep. So there's our box, all packed up, ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the address on here and get it sent out. Uh, I know it's going to Illinois. And that's about all I do know right off the top of my head. Um, I would love to show you the uh, address going on, but I respect people's privacy and I do not want to do that. So, you guys have an awesome day and I will see you next time. Bye bye.